we're going to expand on a previous lesson where we talked about the basics of a power view. If you need information about that or you want to start there, I put a link to the video in the top uh, right hand corner of this video in the information section there, the card section, you can find it uh, there. In this video though, I want to talk about something called tiling. So, or a tile by feature. And so this allows us to quickly filter or view information by a set of data moving along the top of, in this case, I'm going to use a table. So, back in my data, I've added in a field here called boat, and this just determines whether or not a boat was used for that day when we went out fishing. So, in here, I now the first step would be to make sure that I have that information, and you can see over on the side, I do not have that field. So, you're going to be looking for a refresh button. Now, if you're familiar with Excel, you might go to the data tab and use the refresh button, but it's not available and that's because we are working in a power view. So here's what you need to do. I'm going to click into the background of the power view and that's crucial. So I'm going to click into the background. I have a power view tab and on that power view tab is a refresh button. As soon as I hit refresh, it should go reconnect to the data. And now if I look at, if I click into this table and look, I actually do have that field there called boat. So, refreshing the data is important if you make changes to it. Now, second piece is this tile by feature. There is on the design tab a button that says tiles, and this will add a tile into the selected uh, item that you have on your power view. However, if we want to have kind of control over it, uh, I find it's a little bit easier over on the side to expand the data and then get the field you want to use. So, I'm going to use boat and drag it into the tile by section. As soon as I let go, it adds the two pieces of data from that section. Let me just go over here. You can see the only two things we had are yes or no. So if I go to my power view, those are the two options I have. So now I can simply click a tile to actually view that set of information. So it's a very visual, really nice filter that can be applied directly in your power view. And this doesn't just apply to tables. You could actually do this to any of your views, whether it's a chart or not, doesn't matter. Let's say I took fishing location this time and went into tile by down along the bottom. And I can actually click the different pieces and it's regenerating that chart every time I click it. So this tile feature is a great way to filter and review any information in your power view. And they're very easy to add. They're also just as easy to remove. So let's say I was on this chart and I don't want to do the tile by anymore. Well, I can simply click and hold on it, drag it back up, let go, and it removes it from the tile. Of course, I can resize the chart if I needed to. We talked about that in the first video. I'll do that again here. So let's say I wanted to remove the tile. I've clicked on this area of my power view, drag it out, removes the tile, and, and you're ready to go. That's how easy it is to do the tiles and the filters within your power views in Excel.